Hello and welcome to Town Review, where we journey through the towns of the world in order to see are they good or are they a small bit shite. Today we have a Patreon request from Emma Kenny who asked for Thurlus in Tipperary, a beautiful little town in a beautiful county in Ireland. So just in case you're not from Ireland, you don't know where Tipperary is, let's have a look here. So yes, Tipperary is a big massive county right here smack bang in the middle, middle bottom of Ireland. It is such a large mass in Ireland that we do tend to split it up into North and South Tipperary. And Thurlis is kind of in the middle of Tipperary. Um, so let's, ha let's just walk the streets for a little bit, see if we see anything interesting. And then maybe we'll check out some of the famous sites here in Thurlis. Lovely, beautiful Bank of Ireland here in the middle of Thurlis. You'll have to notice that Irish banks are in really nice buildings, usually because they were one of the first things in the town. You can go in and do a bit of finances for yourself. We've got a bit of a Tupac and Biggie chemist situation here, so Mahers. Care Plus, we've got here fine looking modern chemist, lovely blue design, nice, nice blue and green colors, stands right out. And then we've got Devlin Chemist and Opticians over here. They're doing a bit extra, but they're a little bit more old fashioned in their design. So we've got modern versus vintage chemistry here. I'm not from Thurlis, so I don't know which chemist is winning the hearts and minds of the people, but they're battling out right here in the center of Thurlis. We've got a bit of an Ulster Bank here, very nice. Uh, Ulster Bank are now all closed down, so you can't go there anymore. Another pharmacy or chemist here, just up the road from the other ones. Jeez, does anybody in Thurlis die at all? You cannot move two steps in Thurlis, but you're absolutely swimming in medication. We've got a carry out off license here, right beside the chemist, if you're in the mood for a bit of cheeky mixing. This caught my eye here as well, bits and bobs. What do you sell in here? Looks like it might be like art stuff, perhaps some general office supplies. Go in and get yourself a nice folder. So if you decide you're gonna start a new business or organize your life, you can go into bits and bobs, spend 200 euro on office supplies and folders and journals and then never use them and continue your degenerate ways until the end of your existence. So I'm just about to cross the bridge over here. I've come out from Bits and Bobs which is here. Lovely little bit of a castle here. Thurlis a fine looking place. Just a nice little segment of castle just casually involved in the street. I absolutely love a bit of a ruined castle and it's starting to develop some vegetation pubes. Absolutely gorgeous looking bit of castle there. Pheasant Island. What's Pheasant Island? I've got to look that up. It's literally a little island with a load of pheasants in an enclosure. They look happy though. They look like they want to be in there. Well, look at that. That's absolutely wild, Thurlus. Here we have a very modern looking building. I'm not sure what they do in there, but it's got the modern chairs that every building has when it wants you to know it's modern. That's all. Oh, we'd, look, we've got colorful chairs. This is a recent building. It looks very much like a library. In Ireland, if, it, if a building has the modern chairs and books, that means that it's a library. I'm not gonna lie to you, Thurlis. Could do with a bit of a power wash, but you know, it's a, it's a lovely looking building all the same. It's got cool modern reflecty windows. There's a nice juxtaposition here between the modern library that does need a touch of a power wash and this lovely old castle here. So you've pretty much got it all. You could pretty much just stand here at this corner of the street and look out and you're getting basically a, a timeline of human history. Build a few castles, raise a few pheasants, and then build a modern building and keep a load of books and internet in it. There are all, all of it present here in Tharlas. Ooh, look at this, very nice. A cathedral, I reckon this is, yeah. We're on Cathedral Street, so it would stand to reason that we're probably looking. This is a fine cathedral. Look, you got a big clock and everything. Almost no cathedrals get a big clock tower. That's absolutely class. And a fucking copper dome. Ye mad bastard. They've everything going for them in Thurlis. Big massive cathedral with a big tower. Copper dome. Pheasants. A library that admittedly needs a bit of a power wash. What's not here? And here, of course, we have uh, Dwan's Hardware. I've never heard the name Dwan before. I, I thought it said Dwayne's, but no, it says Dwan. Then we have Mario's Traditional Pizzeria and Fish and Chips. Lovely green color on it. Absolutely loving it. 
Nice roundabout for anybody not from Ireland. What you've got here is a typical Irish roundabout, which is just a circle painted in the middle of the road. Let's see, what's on the billboard? Oh, a bit of lion's tea propaganda. I'm a Barry's tea man, so I do consider this to be harmful propaganda, but fair enough. Uh, it seems like your county council will approve any fucking old thing. Time to head home after playing with the pheasants. Need to fuel up. No problem, it's all here in Thurlis. Get your fuel, go in and get yourself an owl chicken fillet roll. It's all available. I always like to check out the supermarkets, so I want to see do they have a nice big shopping establishment I can have a look at. Perhaps a Tesco, let's have a look for a nice Tesco. So, Tesco Superstore. Okay, Superstore, I'm expecting big things. Let's go in, have a look. Um, it's a bit small, um... Right beside the bank. Oh, so this is where we started. I didn't even notice it. So it's a bit of a quaint Tesco. Um, geez, very small chop and trolley supply. I'm not going to lie, Thurlis. I'm not blown away by the Tesco. Now, I will say, small in stature. But you know, some Tescos, they're a bit, they're a bit sneaky. They look small on the front, but they go back for miles. So maybe we'll do a bit of a reach around of this street and see if we can find the back of this Tesco. As I suspect it, we have got a very long Tesco on our hands. So, so this is actually a bit of a cheeky little huge Tesco. Now, I'm not going to lie, it, it doesn't look better from behind. Um, it, It's got a nicer front face, but we've got some extra trolley area down here. I'd say you'd get a decent day's shopping done in there, you know. Okay, let's check out a little, see if we can find one of those. Right, I think we're in the vicinity of a little now. Okay, here she is. Ooh, nice little little modern design. Oh, nice windows. Love a little with a lot of windows. By the way, if you don't have little, it's a supermarket chain, like a Walmart or whatever. Um, yeah, so it's all windows. It's very big glass design on the little. Love to see it. Let's get a bit closer. Okay, I'm actually not allowed. I don't think I'm not allowed down here. Okay, po points deducted for not being able to get a good look at the little. But from what I can see, oh yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, loads of windows. That's going to have such an open, airy feel when you're shopping in it. Yeah, it's hard to fault that now. And an insomnia coffee right beside it. Oh, you're sucking diesel. I love when you're going in to do your shopping, like, coffee place right beside it. Go in, sit down, have a bit of a scone, have a bit of a cup of tea, cup of coffee, and think about the items you're going to purchase. Like, this is a quality of life improvement right here. Absolutely solid showing from Thurless Little, so I'm really impressed with that. Okay, so some of the sites here, let's check them out really quickly. So we've got Holly Cross Abbey. Okay, so here we are in the courtyard of Holly Cross Abbey. I'm not going to fucking lie, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely lovely. You can just walk in here, have a little walk around the abbey. You can even go in under the roof, have a little sit down for yourself. Absolutely class. Lovely, nicely maintained little garden in the courtyard here as well. Fucking lovely stuff, Thurlis. Let me get a little peek on the outside. I have to say now, that is absolutely fucking splendid, Thurlis. Splendid. They've got absolutely loads of stuff here on Thurlis. They have a famine history museum, which I'd actually love to go and see because I want to do a podcast about the famine. Um, because it's like a really, I think, very misunderstood topic in Irish history. Um, and I'd love to talk to an expert and go to a couple of the museums and put together like a little sort of documentary slash podcast about it. So they have a couple of nice museums. They've got the Mountain Trekking Center, uh, the Cathedral, which is absolutely fucking gorgeous. We've seen that earlier. So not going to lie, Perlis, I am really impressed. Um, this is an absolute shock. But I think Perlis... I think Thurlis may equal Ballina in the quality of its town. Now, obviously, I'm from Ballina, so Ballina still wins. But Thurlis is a very close second. I'm going to hit Thurlis with a 9.2 out of 10. Now, what's got at this score? We've got the bit of history. We've got lovely buildings. Some of them you can even go in and look around. Historical buildings. We've got history museums. We've got small town vibes but a very functional Tesco and what looks to be an absolute whopper of a little. It's hard to know what else you could want. Um, you can go walking around in the mountain trekking center. The sites are there to be seen. It's all in one place. Absolutely fabulous result from Thurlis. This is what I like to see in a town. Bit of nature, bit of history, modern conveniences, pheasant island. 
I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So thank you very much to my patron Emma for this request and a big thank you in fact to all of my Patreons, absolute legends. Um, there will be more content going up on the Patreon soon. I'm starting to get in the swing of things with making the content now. I'm getting good at it. I wasn't so good at it for a while. And the podcast is also coming back this week. We've also got some guests on some upcoming podcasts. I know, exciting stuff. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like. Share it with your friends and family and people even maybe that you don't like. It could be a way of rebuilding the bridge with them and get me more views on the video so I make money from them. Of course, I am only joking, but do subscribe to me because I am delicious. 